Erythritol is a low calorie sweetener that kind of seems too good to be true. Uh, it's natural, it doesn't cause any side effects, it tastes the same as regular sugar, just without the calories. So basically all the good stuff in regular sugar with none of the bad stuff. Now, in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at erythritol, and at the end, I wanna dive into one of the big problems with it. Erythritol belongs to a class of compounds called sugar alcohols. These molecules are like hybrids of a carbohydrate and an alcohol. It doesn't contain any ethanol though, which is the stuff that gets you drunk. Now, there are many different types of sugar alcohols. They can be found in natural foods like fruits, but they're also added to sugar-free products of all sorts. Common sugar alcohols include xylitol, sorbitol, maltitol, to name a few, but erythritol appears to be quite different uh, than the other ones. To begin with, it contains far fewer calories. So table sugar has four calories per gram, xylitol has 2.4 calories per gram, and erythritol only has 0.24 calories per gram. So it's only 6% of the calories of sugar, but still has 70% of the sweetness. Now its unique chemical structure means our bodies can't break it down. So it passes through digestion largely unchanged without causing the harmful metabolic health effects that excess sugar has. Erythritol does not spike blood sugar or insulin. Now because humans don't have the enzymes to break down erythritol in digestion, it has no effect on blood sugar or insulin levels. There's also no effect on cholesterol, triglycerides, or other biomarkers. So for people who are overweight or with diabetes or other issues related to metabolic syndrome, erythritol appears to be an excellent alternative to sugar. Erythritol does not contribute to tooth decay. One widely accepted side effect of sugar consumption is poor dental health, so cavities and tooth decay. Erythritol does not seem to have this effect. Multiple studies have examined its effects on dental caries and the results are mixed. Uh, some studies show a reduction in plaque and the harmful bacteria that causes decay, while another study shows no actual reduction in caries. According to a three-year study in 485 school children, erythritol was even more protective against dental caries than xylitol and sorbitol, both of which are used in dental care products like toothpaste and chewing gum. So basically there is no evidence erythritol increases tooth decay like sugar does, and it's probably protective somewhat. Erythritol will cause the least digestive stress. One of the big issues with sugar alcohols is that they can cause digestive stress, particularly in people with irritable bowel syndrome. Now the reason is because the body can't metabolize them and some of them do make their way into the large intestine where they interact with the gut bacteria. However, erythritol is different than the other sugar alcohols. Most of it gets absorbed into the body and excreted way before it gets to the large intestine where most of the bacteria live. In fact, studies show that 90% of it is excreted through urine and only about 10% makes it to the large intestine. So that's great news, but of course, if you are sensitive, that 10% can still cause problems. So overall, erythritol appears to be an excellent sweetener. It contains almost no calories. It has 70% of the sweetness of sugar. It doesn't spike blood sugar or insulin levels. And there's really no side effects except for digestive issues in a handful of people who are sensitive to sugar alcohols. But there's always a but. I don't think that low calorie sweeteners in general are totally harmless. Even though they are low calorie, they're still often linked with weight gain, type two diabetes, and other metabolic health issues in the long term. Now, many researchers suspect this has to do with sweeteners increasing the reward value of foods, which can impact our brains. It makes us feel more hungry more often and eat more subconsciously. How influential all of this is on overall health is hard to say right now, but time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, you can give us a like, and more importantly, don't forget to click that big red button below the video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel.